Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and a Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And we're here. Oh my goodness me, we are here. You've seen the title. It is They Made What Into a Movie. The final chapter. Resident Evil, the final chapter. The last of the Mila Jovovich, Paul W.S. Anderson combination. We're here. We're fucking almost done. We're going to be three of them. I can't tell you how stoked I am. Yep, me too. Thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough ride. It's been a rough ride of varying qualities uh, of movie, mo no movie that I think is objectively like terrible. Mm. There are some that are really bad, like you know Apocalypse. <laughs> uh, but each has always had some parts I've enjoyed or bits I've liked here and there and so on. Yep. But uh, what six films? Six films? I'm just I'm, I'm out. I'm out now. Like I'm out. Particularly as the last couple have tried so hard to jam into so many video game stuff. Yeah. That it's it started to just come across. Pointless. I think uh, that you've said before in previous videos that the last couple of tried to repair the damage mm. that they made in the first couple of ones. Yeah. yeah so. Which is fucked up <laughs> because this movie goes, all right, let's just link it into the original yep. mostly, but also does so many infuriating things. Uh, and one of them, we've had it, we've had it way too many, you know, we've had it way too many times over a short series like this of films where do you remember the ending to the last one? Forget all that. Oh, they try, mm -hmm. but I got so many fucking questions about it. Yep. It's Resident Evil: The Final Chapter, 2016, written and directed by Paul W. S. Anderson. It's a direct sequel to Resident Evil: Retribution from 2012, and as it says, the final installment in the Resident Evil film series, which is based on a video game series of the same name. Now, of course, it's not the first film to do the final chapter, and then there'd be more of them. I mean, fucking hell. Freddy's Dead was the last nightmare. Then we got Wes Craven's new nightmare. Yeah. Uh, Jason, Friday the 13th, had um, the final chapter as number five. And there's ten of them. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, it's not the first to do that. No. And the way this film ends, they did not make it definitive enough. I know. It, they cheap out on what was the actual ending. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll get fucking started on that. <laughs> oh, I'll get started on that. But, truth be told, this actually is it. Yeah. Um, forget Anderson. Mia Jo, which has never returned to this franchise. And the fact that we have uh, new Resident Evil content coming out that's obviously much more video game orientated, mm. we're, we're, we're safe. Yeah. We're safe. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Mila and Anderson have done Monster Hunter in the last year or two. Mm. So that's probably the direction they're going in now. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're safe. Yeah. <laughs> the film stars. The wonderful, always, and incredibly watchable Mila Jovovich. Thank you for sticking and making these series, because one thing we're going to remember, I will always refer to this series as the Mila Jovovich series. About that, yeah. That's how important it is. The Alice stuff. Yeah, definitely. It also stars Ian Glenn. Yes, you did hear that right. You did. Mm -hmm. And uh, dare I say too much Ian Glenn by the end? Yeah. But we'll get to that. <laughs> Ali Larter. Yay. Yeah. Look, I, I don't write Ali Larter. We talked about this when she first appeared. And uh, her Claire in this one is again what you're like. Why? Why are you here? Yeah. Sean Roberts, Eon Mackin, Fraser James, Ruby Rose, Roller, and William Levy. That is the majority of the cast. Guess what, people? You're gonna love it. This is the highest grossing film in the franchise to date. It's genuinely amazing that you kind of wonder if they were like, shit, maybe we should have made this the final one after earning this much money from another film in the franchise. 312 million worldwide against a 40 million budget. Fucking old people. They are, I mean, the amount of money they <coughs> made, made, I mean, all, all six films, they must have made bloody a couple of billion. I think I'd be interested I mean, in that. Yeah, I, 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 maybe not a billion, but certainly, oh, maybe. God, I mean, actually, I mean, no, yeah, we might have had a billion. Six films was like it was 250 each or 300. Yeah. Like, that's a billion. It, it, I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. The, the amount of money these films made, and it shows shows you how popular they are, even if they are crap. I'll try and remember this for you then. When we did a tier ranking uh, further down the line of the characters from the franchise overall, um, I'll see if I can find that and add it up to see exactly what it was, what it really made. But yeah, it's been incredibly successful. But we are here, and we begin with Alice telling us the history of Umbrella. And I'm sorry, guys, you're going to get a lot of this as you always did. I was like, no, what the fuck, film? <laughs> Who's going into Resident Evil, the final chapter, having never seen a Resident Evil movie? Come on. Even if you just watch one of them, random one of you picked, but who goes, oh yeah, fancy a film. The final chapter, uh, Resident Evil. That seems like a good place to jump in. 
fuck's sake. But, but, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. It's new. It's a new fucking Easter egg that we haven't seen before. One that kind of, kind of ties into the games, but has never been mentioned to date. And again, I'm like, remember, I have to sit here typing this. Yep. And I'm like, oh my God, Alice, no, don't do this to me. And I'm like, okay, when she started, I was like, oh, well, I know all of this. Start typing it out already. And then she goes, James Marcus. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Where's, my, where's James Marcus in this suddenly? How the fuck is James Marcus coming to this? Yep, exactly. What about your man from Apocalypse? You know, the one in the, um, the, 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 the disease in the wheelchair? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Where's, nope, nope, forget him. He never existed. He never existed. But yes, James Marcus, played by Mark Simpson, the originator of Umbrella. And his sick daughter, Alicia. Played by Eva Anderson. It's like, oh, you bastards. You bastards. I, I see exactly what you're doing here. Yep. You're rewriting. You're rewriting the history from Apocalypse, specifically. Mm -hmm. But also, you're going, look, that's the same name as I the know. one from Resident Evil Code Veronica. I know. Get it? Clever. You know? And I was like, well, but she's not like that. So, you know, yeah. He had a disease. She had a disease, sorry. That made her body waste away. At the age of 25, she would have the body of a 90-year-old. Okay. All right. Marcus tries to find a cure, but also, during that, recorded her voice and image for reasons? I know. Makes no sense. Nope. It's purely for the plot of this movie to go, that's why that's the thing. But honestly, I was like, so she's sick and dying. And you're like, well, listen, love, while you're dying, could you just record a ton of fucking voices <laughs> for me, you know? Yeah. But Marcus ends up discovering a cure, the T-virus, one that repairs the damaged cells in her body, saving her life. Okay. Alice goes and suggests that the T-virus was then used to help cure many of the world's ills. And I went, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yep. So it was publicly available? This isn't retconning the finale of the last movie. This is retconning most of the films. You see everything. So, so basically, go on a boat and have a dose of tea bar, I suppose. Well, or like it was in yeah, your, yeah. it was in like your paracetamol. Oh, exactly. oh, no, but that true. doesn't, that's not how things went. Nope. What? This flashback ends with Alice saying that the T-virus had unexpected side effects. And you do that thing again where you're like, oh cool, well I've never seen these films before, so I wonder, I wonder what they are. Exactly. What the fuck are they? We then cut to a random scene of a cable car going up a mountain with tourists inside. A young boy starts to choke. His parents try to help him as he dies. He then reanimates and attacks his dad as everyone inside panics. We then see the cable car reach the top and the attendant is reading a magazine. When no one gets out, he gets up and sees it covered in blood, and we get like a jump scare of our hand slamming against the glass. The first of the undead was born. And I was like, the fuck? Like, what was that? I didn't get it. How far is that kid turn, man? I mean, I, I mean, how fast the cable car? It, 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 I mean, he it, 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 it turned way too fast. Man. For what? Turned? What do you mean? The zombie kid. Yeah, but turned. What do you mean? Like, how, we didn't see him get bit or anything. No, but obviously he died, and then obviously he he, he, he come back. Mm, right. No. See, I know what you're getting at, but that you you're applying a rule that does not exist in this movie. I'm and never has existed. I'm going by the I'm going by the Walking Dead for okay. But this isn't this is Resident Evil franchise, and we just yeah. learnt that apparently T virus was available in oh, household yeah, sure, products. Sure, yeah. So presumably this kid was taking something, which had the oh, T virus okay, okay. in it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I'll, mm. I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> Back to Alice, who claims that it's this powerful. what we just saw with the cable car was the first of the undead, and I was like, what? 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 Yeah, the first, yeah. Yeah, I was like, wow. So what happened back in the first one? Then? Well, she says it was covered up, and Marcus argued with his business partner, Dr. Alexander Isaacs, Ian Glenn. Now, I'm a big Ian Glenn fan, I am. Yep. Um, and I think part of his role in this is really good to watch. But there's a lot of him, and we'll get into why. <laughs> a lot of him. Yeah, a lot of him, <laughs> We then hear this argument. Marcus wants to close the program down, but Isaacs doesn't. Marcus insists, insists and is then suffocated by Wesker. Sean Roberts playing Wesker again uh, behind him. Dr. Isaacs tells Alicia to go to bed and she, she was standing on the stairs. I don't care how much it costs. We have to close the program down. James, we're gonna be ruined. My mind is made up. Pity. <laughs>
apparently, now this is Resident Evil, so take whatever you need, chain your brain and just accept what the film tells you. Somehow, Dr. Isaacs became her legal guardian following, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But also got Marcus's half of the company. How? Do you know how you explain that? They're brothers. They're, yeah, just say they're yeah. brothers. Well, yeah. Why not? The film might as well have done it. That's easy, well, yeah. But, I mean, throughout the entire franchise. Half brothers. Mar by, by, um, by marriage. By marriage. Yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah. Step brothers, whatever it is. But give me a reason as to why he would be in that position. Like, why would Dr. Isaacs not only get, like, custody of his daughter, mm -hmm. but his half of the company automatically? All right, fair enough. Let's say that was a Marcus's will. Right? Yeah. yeah Take note. This is all from Alice. We're still listening. According to Alice, Umbrella grew and grew and helped control all its interests. Donna Isaacs created an AI using the likeness of Alicia and call it the Red Queen. Like, okay. And then we see this Red Queen, which looks nothing like the Red Queen from the original. I know. <laughs> so you're not even trying. All right, technology's advanced. You can do better CG. I get all of that. That's fine. Why not just not do good, really good CG? Yep. Why not go, well, look, let's just match it up. Mm -hmm. People will be happy, happy with that, you know? Or offers us some wanky explanation. As yeah. the, I don't know, the hard drive was damaged in the original. That's why she didn't look as good. Exactly, yeah. No, don't. I'm, I'm joking. Uh, I swear, if they'd done that, I'd have, <laughs> I'd have stopped watching right there and then. To help him control the now vast interests of the Umbrella Corporation, Dr. Isaacs created a powerful artificial intelligence. Isaacs used the likeness of Alicia Marcus for the computer's interface. Isaacs called the computer the Red Queen. Now in this never-ending history lesson, we reach the events of the original movie, and that apparently took ten, ten, place ten years after all the events we just saw. We get a fast-paced run-through of the end of the world with quick clips of some of the events we've seen to date. Alice then claims the final stand we saw at the end of Retribution was a trap. And she says, my name is Alice and this is my story. And I was like, no shit, Mila. No fucking shit. But at least she does acknowledge it's the end of her story. Mm -hmm. Title card, five and a half minutes in. Five and a half minutes of all that narration. It's too much. Yeah, wait, it's too wait. much. You're losing people's interest. Exactly. Even, you know, particularly as I say, you're changing so much. I, I, I can buy into all that's happening, right? So, but what I can't, what I struggle the most to get past is the idea that T-Rise was publicly available yeah, it's and there had been a zombie guess. outbreak and it's like so why did it affect that boy nobody else then why was it such a big deal that you were still like experimenting it yeah in I the mean, lab exactly, exactly. So, so why would it be continue, if it was out in the public why would you hide it well what? the best i can come up with is that they were trying to weaponize it instead mm. right yeah military application yeah, yeah, rather than yeah. household application yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, that's that seems to make more sense it's got to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then you'd argue considering you knew the side effects 10 years before why were you so short on cures exactly like, no, you're sure it's like there's one is, is a box of cures exactly, yeah. you know like have, have them all over your labs everywhere exactly mm. so remember the ending of retribution the last stand in the capitol building wesker given alice her powers back we're all gonna fight together fuck all of that we begin overlooking the quiet ruins of the capitol building in the white house and i was like oh we missed it we missed the good part then yep. <laughs> well we did didn't we? we missed the fucking good part however the ruins and the way they did it I think it looks pretty damn good. I think it does, yeah. It, it does, yeah. But it looks like basically a big battle happened and everyone just left. Yep. Like everyone, the zombies, dead, nothing. Yep. There's nobody about. That's what I bothered know. me. I know. No bodies. There would be a ton. Forget like human bodies. Where are all the fucking zombies and stuff? It's just deserted. Exactly. Uh, I mean, at, at, at number six, they, they were surrounded by like hundreds of thousands of zombies. Uh, loads of the bloody pyramid here, I've got to call them. There's like three or four of them around. There's like, I'm sure there's flying ones too. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what, what they were. Well, at this point, you know what I wanted answered? Why was it a trap? What do you mean? What trap? Like, what? Like what? You're like, that doesn't... Wesker gave you back your powers because he needed your help. Because yeah. the Red Queen wasn't destroying anything. Where's the trap? Look, what did he go? Ha <laughs> ha, only joking. <laughs> and then started to fire her? <laughs> like, that doesn't match up. It doesn't... And it, this film would do a fucking a horrendous job of explaining it away. We then get a close-up of a nearby building with a person climbing out of a shaft. They walk around dazed and coughing before stopping in front of the Washington Monument and the big pool that surrounds it. 
She takes her hood off to reveal. <gasps> it's Alice. Shock. She takes a drink of water, but a bioweapon, which I thought looked, kind of looked like the tyrant yep. version of the Isaacs from Extinction, mm. but like a Mangini version. Yep. Jumps out and attacks her. It's caught on a chain, though, so she's able to escape. Somewhere else, she enters a desolate building looking for supplies. Some nearby robber begins to move, and a flying beastie comes crashing out, forcing Alice to run out of the building into the nearby jeep. It crashes out of the building as Alice tries to get the jeep starred. She does, and a quick maneuver to dodge the flying beastie. Love this. I think the CG is at its best here. Mm -hmm. I think the destruction as it comes crashing out of the building yeah. is brilliant because you've got a mix of a CG, but obviously you, you destroyed the building. Yeah. Like, you did it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really, really, really fast-paced. You're instantly like, okay, okay, okay. We're off. Why Alice was in a hole? I don't know. Let's presume she got knocked down during the battle. Mm -hmm. Why the beasties waited until she sort of turned up to reappear? Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, it chases her down the road, but Alice spies a claim on mine in the back of the jeep. And it was like, okay, handy. Yep. But we're now going to talk about one of this film's biggest problems. Cuts. <clears throat> so this film goes, and I, I don't know why. I'm going to do part of it is that uh, Milo couldn't be as bothered to do sort of high tense things. And there was a lot of short shoot moments rather than several. This scene alone, it's just cut, 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 cut. Like, there's, they're two seconds apart. Yeah. And you generally go, and, it's 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 boggling, mind-boggling. Do you think by, probably by, by the end of it, she's probably thinking, do you know what, we've done, we've done enough of these. And it's weird because, yeah. it's weird because they, they, this will become a consistent problem in this movie. Mm. It's so fucking cut heavy. They never stick with one shot for longer than a couple of seconds during an action sequence. Mm. It's no fucking fun to watch. Because mm. you, you almost left feeling a bit sick. It's just yeah. go, and it just goes... And it doesn't leave you disorientated in a good way. It leaves you disorientated in a frustrated mm. way. Anyway, the beastie gets on the roof and manages to rip it off. But Alice is able to momentarily shake it off by having it fly into the tail of a downed helicopter. She then turns the jeep around, drives at it, because it's Alice. Yep. Uh, slamming into it and pinning it against an overturned lorry. It's not dead, though, and tries to attack it with its tail. Alice finally gets the mine, activates it, gets to the car, but is thrown away by the resulting explosion. So she's dead, right? <laughs> Have you not been watching these films? <laughs> of course she's not dead. The film does make sure we know she was, she was hurt, but alive nearby looking at the sky. Now, the whole action sequence, from where it burst out yeah. to the end, is pretty good. Yeah, but I think overall, all the films, I think the action sequences have been okay. Okay. Mm. No, not, not great, okay. And so, some of the CGI have been okay. But yeah, so I so can criticise them on a lot of things, but give them positive on a few things. I, I, I'm i not giving you the mm eyes because I think you're wrong. I think when they get it right, it's really fucking good. And I think back to like The Crows from Extinction mm -hmm. is a great example of when they get it right. But now I think, oh yeah, and then there's that... There's zombies that keep coming out of the endless fucking um, tank thing, uh, oh, tanker, yeah, yeah. at the end of Extinction. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's terrible. And I think of like, okay, the part where she's being hunted by Dr. Isaacs mm. is fine, but then like, oh yeah, the part where they fight is terrible. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, either yeah, or. Yeah. It's never like, okay, that's just fine. Mm. I thought this was fine. It's just those constant cuts. It's infuriating. <laughs> Alice does get up, though, as warning alarms begin to go off around her. They stop as suddenly as they started, and we see her being watched by a computer that confirms her as Project Alice. It's like, yeah, we know. Again. We know! Yep. Fuck's sake. Alice then hears a sound coming from a building, so goes down into the basement. This part gets really dark, and it's supposed to be more horror-like, I think. Kind of like that yeah. sort of thing. She calls out for any survivors as she looks around. Uh, this part goes on for a while. A little bit too long. Yeah. Eventually, she finds what is making the noise, a printer in some old computer room that has 
Hello Alice written all over it again and again. And then around her, the monitors come on to reveal the Red Queen. Now, I take massive issue with this. Why are you bothering to do Hello Alice on the printer? If you're just going to appear on a fucking screen, uh, just appear on the screen uh, uh, when she walks in. Right? Yep, indeed. Mmm. The Red Queen announces that our satellites show that there are only, and I've got the exact number, 4,472 people left on Earth. And they're all going to be gone in 48 hours. You're like, what? What? <laughs> like, again, you're like, how do you know this? Exactly like, how. how does this umbrella computer become an all-knowing seer? Like, I get satellite, I get all that, but like, this is, this is pushing, God. this is pushing the limit of, yeah, it's God. God. It's God-like. Yeah. Absolutely silly. Ridiculous. The Red Queen tells Alice that she wants her to save them and even warns Alice as Alice is then attacked by an infected. Obviously, Alice kills it, you know. Get out of the film. What are you doing in this film, monster? <laughs> this is my film. I'm Alice. Yep. Alice is then told that Umbrella apparently developed an airborne antivirus. Okay, then. If released, it will kill the T-virus and everything infected. I was like, oh, my God. You are the laziest writers ever. Over the entire world, yeah. Oh, my God. The joke is she'll say a line at the end of the movie uh -huh. <laughs> about that because it's what goes in your head. You're like, how? If I release it here catching a wind. and I'm in England... How does that help Australia? And is that wins? Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, like that could take a while, right? Like a fart in the wind. <laughs> yeah. If that wasn't enough, though, it turns out there's antivirus. Guess where it is, people? It's in the hive beneath the streets of Raccoon City. Now, initially, I was kind of like, oh, cool. Yeah, all right. Just end where we begun, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, I mean, she was a high level of operative, wasn't she, in the first one? Mm. So, why didn't she know about this? Oh, well, she, she, wasn't she high enough? She worked, she worked in the hive. Yeah, because her memory came back, right? Yeah. So she'd have remembered a certain amount of it. Oh, okay. Unless she wasn't high enough. Oh, fuck's sake, the film. No, we do remember this. We do. We've forgotten it because it comes up later in the film. Should we say it now? She's a clone. Oh, shit, yeah. And she yeah. only, her, her only memory stopped at when she woke up in the shower. Yeah, okay, yeah. All of the rest of it was false. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have known that. Yep. Alice rightfully asks what we would all be asking, why the Red Queen is helping her. And the Red Queen now declares that her programming means she can't harm any Umbrella employee. But Alice isn't bound by those constraints. And I was like, well, let that angle falls apart immediately. I like right. Immediately. Because you could argue, what the fuck was she doing in a lot of the earlier movies then? Yep. What about um, when she turned the computer system on in the original movie, the laser grid room? I know. Those people work for Umbrella. <laughs> she kills them. All the people in the lift. Uh, all the, kills them. All, all, all employee employees. Kills them, kills them, kills them. Kills them. Yep. You're like, you know what, man? Forget it, film. If you're not going to bother, why should I even bother? <laughs> um, but also, I was kind of like, but telling Alice and giving her all this information, isn't he kind of breaking your program? Because the problem is when you say you can't harm any Umbrella employee, you'd be creating an issue with that. Yep. It's to find harm. So for example, by telling Alice this, it, uh, that's like giving, me giving a person a gun and giving them the op a loaded gun so they can shoot themselves yep. or shoot someone and then being like, well, I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. You gave them the fucking gun. You know, you know what you were doing. I surely her programming, because uh, I mean, she's still a computer at the end of the day. She's, she's an AI. So she's no, wait, she's God. We're oh, going to oh, start oh, referring sorry. to her as God now. No, sh surely, well, uh, actually, uh, if, if we're referring to her as God, I, I can't say my Yeah, name. that's it. <laughs> I can't say my Yeah, name. you can't. She's God. <laughs> that's the end of it. Alice asks another sensible question, because this is just Q&A now, which is why the Red Queen is turning an umbrella. But the Red Queen blows her off saying that she should get to the hive in 48 hours and she'll get her answers. And I was like, if I was Alice, I'd be like, nah, mate, look on, <laughs> look on. If you're going to be like that about it, if you're going to be like, oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you when you get here. I'll be like, nah, I'm going then. Yep. Don't trust you. Why the fuck would I? Exactly. I'll be like, yeah, whatever, man. Humanity's cool. I don't believe you. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Just sit back until she tells you. Absolutely. The Red Queen does offer us, offer Alice revenge though, Wesker. She then tells us that he led them to Washington, pretended to give Alice her powers back, then betrayed them all. No! Fuck the shocker! It's shocking, man. Why? That's shocking, it is. Why? Because Why? What does she mean? We, think of, it's, it's implying you did not see that last shot of them being overrun. Mm. And that the movie ended when he injected her in the fucking Oval Office. Right? Mm -hmm. That's where it ended. Because then you could be like, okay. But you're like, why pretend to even give her powers back? Why? This makes no sense of what they're on the roof when they're all standing there. Make movie. They're like, right, we're gonna fight. Westwood, nah, actually, I'm gonna betray you. 
But what did he do with everybody else? Where did they go? Did they fight him too? Uh, I don't know. They all just disappeared. Did he turn around and go, ha, ha I'm on their side, the monsters? Uh... It is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. But the Red Queen says Wesker is at the hive and handily puts the 48 time on Alice's watch. Handy. So we get times now. Ten years ago in the hive, we both failed. We let this happen. Make it right. Fuck that. Uh, uh, right. If I'm Alice, I'm like, bitch, you blaming me? I know. <laughs> bitch, you blaming me? I, I woke up in a fucking shower <laughs> naked. What the fuck did I do? Uh, do you know what I mean? Don't I be know. giving it all like, we failed. You, you what the failed. fuck? You, you, you failed. failed. It was your job. Yeah, that's your job. Oh, no. I, I woke up in the fucking shower. You're going to say, I'm the blame. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. But Alice is just like, yes. In her head, like, you see her like, yeah, we did. I'm going to make this right. I'm like, Alice, <laughs> don't take this, uh, you know? We then cut to Alice driving in a battered car. Her watch says 36 hours left now. So, just jump, you know? Which is fine. We don't really need to see her driving across country. No, of course not. We see a sign for Raccoon City. But her progress is stopped by a spike trap, which crashes her car. It's a pretty hefty crash, crash, and of course, she's fine, <laughs> you know. All right, don't get me wrong, she's like, oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> and then in two minutes later, she's fighting. Yep. You're like, well, you're not that fucking hurt, are you? She looks around, sees no one, so starts moving on foot towards Raccoon City. As she passes under a bridge, she sees a motorbike, a snazzy-looking umbrella one. You know it's umbrella because it's literally got umbrella written on it. <laughs> Smartly, though, she does pull her knife out, but some umbrella agents get the drop on her, resulting in Alice being strung up by her leg to the bottom of the bridge. This is your trailer for, for the moment. Yeah. Several other agents rappel down and one starts to hit her with the butt of his gun. I did, I did wonder why he was doing that. Just kill her. Exactly, just, just, just shoot her. Yeah. After several hits, Alice laughs at him and asks if that's all he's got. And I'm like, yep, yeah, guess he's about to die. Yeah. It ain't Alice. <laughs> it is a cool action scene because she's tied up with one foot. So she's got to do all this upside down. It's cool. But it's got about 50 different camera cuts in a space of 30 seconds. Mm. It is sickening to watch. And it ends with like a pose as well. And they're like, yeah, this was uh, Mila's trailer yeah. for the stuff, you know. And it's like, yeah, I'm impressed. I'm always impressed by you. I love yeah. watching you. You're great. You're, you're, you are a person. I, like, I never want to say nothing bad about her. No, because she, she is a very good actress. But I'm just like, you're taking a piss, guys. Come <laughs> on, man, you know. <laughs> Alice frees herself, kills the last agent before getting on the bike and trying to start it. But, have you ever seen Judge Dredd? Yeah. What happens when you pick a judge's gun up? Uh, uh, it, it kills it. Or it'll... Uh, Elect electrifies you. Knock you out, that kind of thing. That's what this bike does. It doesn't recognise her and electrocutes her, knocking her out cold. No, okay. I like it because that will lead to one of my favourite scenes in this movie in a bit. You know what we're talking about. Yeah, I laugh my head off when that happens. <laughs> it's probably a comedy, actually. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Alice wakes up to find herself handcuffed, but with only 20 hours left. She's in some sort of prison transport with others. Her questions draw the attention of her captor, who turns out to be Dr. Isaacs. Alice rightfully points out, I killed you. You know, which is fair. Yep. But I love, I love, and again, this is where we joke, we joked about this in a couple of movies, where it's Mila, not Alice. And she just like, she so half-heartedly goes, a clone. I killed a clone. Yep. And they're like, that's just me going, yeah, all right, just write in a clone again. Yep. Fucking cl <laughs> clones made this fucking series this long. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, though, this Dr. Isaacs, he's a super villain now. And even talks like one. He calls her an unbeliever and declares she must be cast out. He chants it and the other people start joining in. I'm like, the fuck happened to this guy? Preacher, that's why well, he's become a preacher. He, he's, yeah, he's very, very religious, this mm. dude. Very religious. Alice is then thrown out of the back of the vehicle with her hands tied and a rope connecting her to the back of the vehicle. So she's like that, having to run. She's forced to run. As behind them is a huge horde of zombies. They're all following the van. And it is an excellent shot where you see the scale of these zombies that are following this van. Yeah. Alice deals with some zombies that get close to her as the Isaac preaches from the top. He's gone full-on religious zealot talking about cleansing the world. Only the pure and righteous will remain. And admittedly, like, it might be a clone or not. This is supposed to be a clone of Dr. Isaacs from 
extinction. Yep. Huh? Huh? Exactly. I was like, okay, so maybe he's gone mad. Yep. Right? He tells Alice that it'll take them 12 hours to reach Raccoon City, and he wants to know what she knows if she wants to get back on the vehicle. Basically, he wants to know why we're going to Raccoon City. It's fair. Yeah, but it doesn't make, make much sense. So, 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 she got shocked. So that, and, and then she woke up. So, to, she, she, she was out cold for 16 hours. Yeah, okay. So, then that, so it's going to take 12 hours to get to Raccoon City. Mm-hmm. So, what were they doing in that 16 hours? Were they just sitting Driving. still? So, it's going to take 12 hours plus the 16 hours. So, it's going to take 28 hours to get to Raccoon City. Is it okay? Because because then what what, what what? Oh, that's too. What, that's actually too much time. Because uh, what, what what are they doing for, for, for the sixteen hours she's unconscious? Well, it's a slow moving fucking car. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like a tank, isn't yeah, it? I suppose, yeah, yeah. We then cut to West girl walking into a big old computer room. Doctor Isaac's contacts him and tells him about Alice. He tells him to raise the security to hive to the maximum, and and then says God go with you. And I'm like, the fuck is this religious nonsense? Like, it just doesn't fit. Like, he's constantly saying it. And you kind of like, no, this doesn't work. Nope. Like, this is brand new. We don't need this. Also, in a world where the dead come back to life, God ain't, yeah. God ain't, God ain't in this. Nope. God, God ain't nothing to do with this. God is fucking dead in a basement somewhere. Exactly. Wesker tells the Red Queen to raise the security level. You know when you're kind of like, and you don't already? Like, what is it now? Uh-huh. Is this like a fucking change the bulb situation in Red the Dwarf? Yeah. You know? Back with Alice having a run as the lone guard on top makes the stupid mistake of looking away. Alice gets up, knocks him off to be devoured, and then takes care of a guard who comes to check on the noise. And you're like, well, of course they are. This is what these people do. You're here to die. She's only handcuffs, man. Seriously, you want her dead. Just done. kill her. Bang. That's it, done. Just kill her. The eyes, because it's the thing, they don't even need her anymore in uh-huh. this. They don't need her blood. You're like, why are you going to Raccoon City? I'm not telling you. Cool, dead. <laughs> Then you'll never. Who, I don't need to know. I mean, it's pretty obvious. They, 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 they know the they know the yeah, cure. Yeah. Why, why else? Why, why else should we go? Yeah. Let's like, not go to fucking shopping and shit. <laughs> so the Isaac gets to jump on her though, and they have a, a decent fight mm. with a couple of decent sort of stages in this fight. It's cut heavy, mm-hmm. but I find it less annoying yeah. in this fight scene. Plus, I also like seeing Mila Jovovich and Ian Glenn kind of duke it out. Yeah. We've seen it before, and it's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Alice wins though, and demands that he release her. He does, but then they get into another fight. And so that's why I was like, really, guys, you just you finished it. Yep. The other vehicle in the other road sees this. So there's two of these tanks, one on the other side of the road. It sees this fight and goes, oh, our boss is in trouble. Just start shooting <laughs> at it. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, like you're clearly unconcerned about Because it's not like a, a, a an aim. It's like a fucking torrent. It's just random, yeah. You, you're not... You're not Aiming with that, you're shooting whatever it is to pieces. Mm-hmm. Alice grabs him though and holds a knife against his throat at the kind of like the side of the vehicle, out of sight from the other. From there, she sees a motorbike in the side of the vehicle, but Dr. Isaac points out that she can't use it. I laugh my head off here. He changes his tone quickly when she cuts his hand off and uses that to start the bike. And I was like, all right, that's it. I like that. I like the fact that Alice is like, oh, fuck this. I'll just take your hand then. Like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not even, we're not, we're not disputing this. Mm-hmm. You can't use it. You can't Alice speeds up down the road as the armoured vehicle somehow fails to hit her with its massive Gatling gun and missiles. It is shooting down the road, somehow missing completely, then starts firing missiles, and of course, it misses. She's Every done, single she's one. She's done a whole little crow trick where like, they all burst into flames and like go around her. Yes, that is it, exactly yeah. that. Uh, it's just particularly stupid when she drives through a wall of flame and comes out with our hair, singed, n- it, not it, even it, singed, it, it, out of place. Like... At least, uh, like, uh, how funny it would have been if she'd come out looking like Helen at the Candyman. <laughs> like, burnt scalp. It's going, ah! <laughs> like, well, thank you for yep. realism. Yep. <laughs> but we do get some comedy here as well, for some reason. They've decided to add some comedy as we see a zombie pick up Donna Isaac's hand and bite into it. You're like, okay, that's random. Yeah. Inside, Donna Isaac's has given something that I thought looked like it was making his hand regrow mm. before he's told that Alice has escaped. 
And like, did you need to tell him that? <laughs> She's escaped, boss. No fucking shit. <laughs> 18 hours left. So I think your maths is off. I think I think your maths is off. Uh, but yeah, I must be off. Yeah, 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 yeah. As Alice gets closer and the Red Queen reports her progress to Wesker. He mentions loading an operative from Raccoon City. And I'm like, fuck. What? And you're sort of like, okay, so now I've got to do that whole thing again where I'm like, who's a bad guy? Who's yeah. a bad This film is so fucking easy to pick if it is. Oh, yeah. Because all you got to do is look at the one who's too nice. Yep. Alice then arrives at the city limits. There's not much to look at, to be honest, seeing it was bombed all those movies ago. It looks cool, but it's unexciting and there's nothing really to compare it to because it is just a mess. Yeah. However, however, I have a real nitpick here. So, do you remember the bomb detonating in Apocalypse? Yep. How did it detonate? What was special about it? It imploded. Indeed. From the sky. From the sky? It blew up in the oh, sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. It dropped into the atmosphere, yep. blew up in the sky. How is there a crater then? You don't get a crater. No, because you have to be underground for a crater. It fucking... Poof. Exactly, yeah. But this is all about look at the size of this crater. And I'm like, what, did a fucking meteorite drop? Mm. Like, it didn't. The bomb exploded in the sky above the city. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Sucked in, implosion, yeah. and went out. It's not going to leave a fucking crater. Maybe there's another one which they put to you about. You know what it is? It's the nuclear missile. They oh, just yeah. fucked it up again yeah. because it, you know, a missile boom into the ground crater potentially. Mm -hmm. Maybe not that big, but they fucked it up. Basically, watch your own movies. Yep. Just go back and go. What did we do there? Oh, it was in the sky. Well, we kind of created then. Shit, they have changed the story. Yep. Oh, let's just not bother. No one cares anyway. Well, apparently not. Three hundred million. Exactly. Yeah. As Alice drives in the street, she's blinded by a flash from a high building, and she gets knocked off a bike by something big. It appears to knock her out as we get flashes of her mission before she wakes up as a man is about to stab her with a needle. I love this crash scene. Mm. How dangerous and violent did that look? It's quite it, impactful. It, 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 looked, it looked really good, yeah. It did look really, yeah. really good. But, yeah, she, but again, like, she kinda, she's kind of not hurt enough. She wakes up, the guy's about to stab her with a needle. She grabs hold of him and uses him as a shield against a group who are all holding guns. So she's with her, she's been grabbed by a group of people. The man she's holding asks her to let him go and that what was in the needle was pure adrenaline as he needed her to come awake. Like he needed her to be awake. Mm -hmm. He tells her something big is coming, and he thought she could help. So they're being nice. Obviously, like guns are trained on her because she happens to have one of them of course. held hostage. But another woman appears and demands, Alice, let him go. It's Claire, Ali Lata. And the pair are happy to see each other. I'd be fine with this, because you know, I'd be, I'm fine with a reunion. Uh, I just want like, okay, so where were you during this part of the movie? And what happened here? And where were you there? And where's everyone else? How did you get her? Everyone else is dead, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, everyone else is dead. Sometime after, they're both on the roof, and Claire claims she was captured after Arcadia was br was being brought to the hive, but she got loose, killed the pilot, they cry they crashed, and she got pulled from the wreckage by this group. I'm like, okay then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. You've given me you've given me a shit explanation, but what else are we supposed to do? Why would they be taking Claire to the hive? What's Claire? Who the fuck's Claire? I didn't just kill her straight away. Just kill her? Yep. The rest of the group aren't pleased to hear about the impending arrival of Dr. Isaacs and the army of undead behind him. Tensions run high and guns are drawn, especially when Claire asks Alice what they should do. The one that matters the most is the one whose name is said loads. You notice that? Yep. It's really hard to work out who's who in this scene and after this, to be honest, they're all fucking expendable. Yep. But listen for the one whose name is said loads. The most. That's the character that matters. Doc. Ian Mackin. Yep. So straight away. It's like, and everyone is saying Doc. 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 They're like, they, they, they want you to remember him. Mm -hmm. Although we also have Razor. Fraser James. Abigail. Ruby Rose. Christian. William Levy. And Cobalt. Roller. I got their names of IMDb. <laughs> Fucking knows what they were. Razor said a few times. And I recognise the actor Fraser James. But um, yeah. No, uh, I, I, I stopped paying attention. I just want to know what, 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 where Joe is, where Chris is, where... Leon. Exactly, where, where they all disappeared. Yeah. They, they didn't die, so where are they? Yeah, Luther died, Leon didn't. Exactly. 
Yeah. Nah, not near. Where's your brother? Where's Jill? They were all they were all on the boat. Yeah, where's Chris? Yeah, it's yeah. funny. Like, yeah, I got taken by umbrella. Did you find out, uh, Alice? Do you know what happened to Chris? Yeah. Do you know what happened to Kmart? No. Le- <laughs> justice for Kmart. I mean, Chris has got a bigger vendetta. Than no, fuck Chris. Well, Kmart. Well, yeah. Justice for Kmart. She was an integral part of extinction. I want to know what happened to Kmart. A free word there. Oh, right. Where are we? Everyone chills out. Alice checks her watch 12 hours and tells Claire she needs to get to the hive. Get moving then. Alice tells them that they have to leave, but begins to cough and collapses. So, like, oh, okay. Wow. She's actually hurt. Inside, Alice's issues are apparently related to her being knocked off the bike. And I was like, oh, she's not invincible. And you're kind of like, okay, she's not invincible. We're actually going to do thing like, something about that. Forget it all. Because docs like here have a drink of this. And apparently, that fixes everything. Did she drink pure T virus? <laughs> it must have been. Right? But anyway, here, here it's like, oh, he's the nice guy in this film. So you're either dead or you're the villain. Yep. Mm-hmm. Instantly. Like, it's so fucking nice and uh, I think we find out oh that's right he leaves to talk to the others leaving Claire alone with Alice and for whatever fucking reason Claire feels the need to tell Alice that she and Doc are a couple I didn't get it I thought it was really really weird I was like is she like getting yeah, territorial yeah. like stay away from my man it just seems odd right yeah well, I mean yeah, the relationship between her and Carter uh, uh, uh she never really had a relationship, did she? Well, it's not hinted at that they could have been. Then her and Luke sort of had a, had a little thing. Or oh, Alice, Alice, yeah, you sorry. mean? Yeah, sorry, Alice. Alice, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you could. Uh, it's always been hints, you know. She yeah. she got close to uh, uh, fuck. What's his name? Uh, fuck, Odin Farah. Yeah. Um, uh, why have I forgotten his name? Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. Carlos. Um, Luther. No, but she never really had a romantic interest in these films. No, no, of course not. She's she, 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 she's not really ca- she, she's not capable of because of her. That's what I mean. Like, I mean, like her, her, her <laughs> genetics because uh, I don't know the T virus or whatever inside her. It's... Hey, we saw her banging in the original in a flashback. Oh, no, true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but she wasn't affected, was she? Was she? Or was she? I don't fucking know. <laughs> 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 anyway, Alice tells Claire everything she knows. Claire disputes trust in the Red Queen and also points out that Alice will die. If the T virus is released in the atmosphere, Alice will die. She's infected with the T virus. I was like, oh yeah, cool. Oh, that's how we're going to do it. Mm. Yeah, all right, sweet. Alice rightfully points out, though, in a totally, totally thing, her life is is a good price to pay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Save the world for your life. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm not trying to be like, oh, look how heroic I am. But I like to believe if I was in that situation, I'd be like, well, yeah, man. Of course. Like, yeah, you know? But also, like, Claire tries to argue, and you're like, fuck off, Claire. Like, I'd be like, like, if it was you, you'd be like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to die, though. Bang, bang. sorry, oh, rest of the world. Are you, are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're going to die, your brother's going to die. Like, Claire's like, oh, you know, sure. Um, and I thought it was hilarious here, because I, I reckon in Mila's eyes, you can be like, shut the fuck up. I want to leave this franchise. We're done. <laughs> Claire agrees, but provided they save the people in the building, then go together. On the ground, we see that they've created their own sort of small fortified piece of land. Christian is not happy when Alice is given a gun, and he's the dick of it, basically. Yeah, again, I don't get that. So, so, so she's now got to stay to help defend this place where she could be going to save the world. Which would... In, would, would, would Save it as well. <laughs> Save them too. The right? horde of zombies is a big problem. Exactly. You go moving. Here's the thing, Alice. They were going to be fucked if you weren't there or not. Yep. So they'll be fine without you or you can continue your mission. I can just tell them, I've got an idea. How about all of you come with me and we'll all go save the world together? Cause yeah, it's it, 20 of you and one of me. It's a, I've got better odds with 20 of you. I also suspect in this destroyed city, there's probably a lot of underground places you could go hide in. Exactly. Caves, Spread tunnels. out. Yep. Subways. Until Alice finishes the mission. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Anyway, Dr. Isaacs and Wesker share some bants. For some reason, they're, they're being like cutting towards each other. And Wesker fills them in on what Alice is doing. He references an informant. And I was like, ah, whoa. Yeah. I wonder who that is. Only the person whose name's been said a hundred fucking times. How did an informant even get in there? It doesn't even find it. You're asking so many <laughs> questions. <laughs> How did he get in there? I mean, was he, was he a scientist? Well, presumably he already was, and Wesker yeah. run, ran, ran to him one day mm. and went, hey, do you want to be oh, my I, buddy? I remember you. We, we, we had coffee together a couple of years ago. Maybe, so like, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I was on so many questions, man. That's why I'm, I'm Paul W. Anderson now, being like, why ask us so many questions, bruv? <laughs> like, 
Just watch the film. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know all the religious shit? We haven't had enough. We then see Dr. Isaac's opening of a cabinet with lots of crosses and knives with the inscription and make sure we say, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Mm. And I'm like, is this going to come into something important? And there's arguable it doesn't. Nope. Not really. Not for what happens at the end. I mean, obviously, we, we know he's a clown, so I can't even feel like he said that. He's like, this clown here has gone crazy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. Back at the building in Raccoon City, we see the group preparing for a fight. There's a lot of people. And it's basically, oh, well, a lot of people have died then, all right? Yeah, fuck, who the fuck are these people? Yep, extras. Yeah. Dr. Isaac is such a badass, though. We then cut back to him. He's standing on top of the vehicle as it arrives at the city. I'm like, yes, Ian Glenn, <laughs> show your shit. <laughs> that is falling, and he tells his men to leave no survivors. We then see from the city people's perspective, and I'll be honest, this is promising to be a really big battle, but... The stakes feel really low. Yep. Like you're building up to this massive battle, and all I'm thinking is, none of this matters. Like it's not. Re- it's 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 a it's a it's a speed bump towards the area that matters, which is the high. Mm-hmm. The only people I'm supposed to, the only people I should care about is Alice, Claire, and I know you tried to give everyone else names, but I don't give a fuck. Then there's just hundreds of people who I don't know, and well, don't care about. Don't stops, even care about Claire. One stops that Isaac kills all these people. And I hope the very people are take that off the total of 4,470. Presumably, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Presumably that's yeah. part of the total. Yeah. We know who's going to survive this as well. It's got over an hour left to go in the movie. And all these people have no names. I mean, that, that tells you so much as well. Of course. Alice says they're going to kill every last one as the group start using their impressive makeshift weapons to launch explosive barrels that are on fire. You know when you're like, ooh, you guys did well. I mean, fine, fine. Let's say they had most of this stuff ready for defending mm-hmm. against zombies anyway, right? They somehow managed, though, to directly hit one of the armoured vehicles, killing everyone inside. Who, when you're approaching a battle like that, leaves their porthole open? <laughs> like, why is the top open so the barrel can directly land in it? Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. And, I mean, you're attacking actually like, both together. Why don't you go, like, one here and one here? You're idiots. Fucking idiots. Uh-huh. But ha- guess what? This one conveniently didn't, is the one that didn't have Dr. Isaacs in it. He smartly tells his group to close up then. He like, he's like, oh yeah, close that. <laughs> and releases a woman who runs towards a city pursued by the zombies. So, I-, I like this actually. Because it's like he's smart enough to know that as Alice is going to want to save this woman. He's going to. Mm-hmm. Like, it is. She tells the group to open the gate to save her. Somehow, they manage to then land on these explosive barrels directly behind the woman... And it's like, oh, that doesn't even, it doesn't even, like, buff at her, like, knock her down. Oh, no. <laughs> Reminds me of Resident Evil fucking Apocalypse, when Alice wraps the blanket, oh, fire yeah, yeah. blanket round her. No pushing, no and Nothing, like, doesn't get knocked yeah. forward or anything. It's just like, come on. It looks like they're going to save her. But just as they reach her, Dr. Isaacs has his men fire and kill her. And they did, like, he's being a right dick. I didn't enjoy that. Come on. Probably did the best scene in the movie, to be fair. Mm-hmm. So. It's, yeah. Alice tells her group to close the gate, but some zombies manage to breach it. Claire gets to be a brief badass, but is saved by Doc, who jumps down to help her. Dr. Isaacs then fires a missile at the gate, and we see Doc and Claire being knocked away. Look, this action sequence here is a fucking mess. It is a mess of darkness. They decided we're going to do it at night so we can hide all the flaws of it. Yep. You don't know half the time who's doing what. You're cutting from one person to another to another constantly. On, it's what you you just wanted to end so you can get past this pretty fucking horrendous I didn't like it mm. Razor then activates his thing he calls it which involves bringing down part of the wall um, on top of the zombies I don't mind that it's like a fallback situation yeah, yeah. think of it like almost like um, Lord of the Rings t- uh, Two Towers oh, you yeah, go yeah. back 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 yeah. Claire and Doc are able to escape but zombies still get through zombies you know Alison tells everyone to pull back to the barricades then Isaac tells his men to target the roof and we get death and destruction from lots of people of, oh no, that person died? Mm-hmm. That person with long hair died. The important character. Yeah, all these people that I really fucking don't know. The zombies are assaulting the barricades as Claire and the rest try to hold them off. It's just too dark to enjoy. And I have so many questions. Such as, here's the thing, right? 
I understand scavenging, but how would he have been able to find so much workable stuff mm -hmm. in the ruins of Raccoon City? You're not just talking about collapse of society. You're talking about a city that was blown up. Exactly. So a nuclear bomb went off, or whatever it was. So straight away, it was a hydrogen you know, bomb, wasn't it? Yeah, hydrogen. Well, hydrogen bomb. So, so straight away, all electricity and all that would, would be gone, wiped yeah. off. It would literally be no power. So nothing. Would, all machinery wouldn't work. Well, let's let's. Here's the thing as well. You you also telling me that, like literally everybody, because here's the problem. Let's say you 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 know, you've got skills. Everybody's got skills to do welding and building and all this stuff. It's not that easy just to learn to do this stuff. It isn't. But it's about to get even sillier. Alice tells Claire and her group to leave the barricades and on the roof. <sighs> she and a few of her faceless people spill fuel down under the zombies. As it pours down, they light it, creating a river of fire that washes over the zombies, seemingly destroying most of them. Here's the thing. It's a good visual, but it's fucking stupid. Yep. That is not how it does not work fuel works. works. I know that. So you're like, well, it looks great, but also that's not how it works. Nope. Yeah. But hold on. It's about to get even sillier. Does Isaac sees the wall of fire coming towards him, tells his men to back the vehicle up as Alice comes swooping in on a zip wire that somehow leads her, lands her amongst the zombies and near Dr. Isaacs. I'm like, what the fuck was this zip wire? Grappling hook, man. Jesus. He orders his men to fire at her, but she's able to dodge and hide, leading to her pouring fuel into the vents of the vehicle and setting a light. I was like, oh my God, this fucking film. There is a cool shot of Alice sort of standing as fire erupts out of it and it grinds to a halt. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it, it was cool. Yeah. Is that it though? Is it? Fuck. Several operatives get out pretty much unharmed. And I was like, Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> you, you serious? They're dead. Alice kills one of them gets and then gets into a fight with Dr. Isaacs number two. Close the vents now! But he does that stupid thing of winning, then gloating. And he gets attacked by a single zombie, which Alice allows Alice to shoot him. You know what I kept thinking here? Where are all the zombies gone? Yep. Where are all the zombies gone? It's like, oh, we don't touch Alice. They're doing the Mortal Kombat, they're doing the Conqueror's thing, where they just stand now and watch yeah. each other fight. Absolutely. Alice then goes inside the vehicle. Evan appears to be dead, except the prisoners in the back. Okay. They t yeah. Convenient. Yeah, oh yeah, because they, they, yeah. They tell Alice that, uh, that, uh, that Isaac's escaped at the back outside apparently the zombie army has been destroyed aside from one or two as the main group from the building arrive alongside alice because they're all now out here too and he just got so many questions he was like how where are the zombies what what how? just all dead mm, yep. okay we don't see alice tying the injured umbrella operative she's shot to the back of the vehicle as the group make him run behind it the zombies then appear from the side and chase him and i was kind of like two wrongs guys two wrongs don't make a right I don't really love the um, evil punishment. Like, it doesn't seem, it doesn't fit their behaviour, does it? No, no. I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the umbrella are the evil ones. So you're just as bad as umbrella, basically. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, so what is with people getting shot and being like, okay? Hmm. Like, he's shot. He got shot in like, the chest. Shot in the chest. He's, he's, he's able to, to run for a bit. Mm. And then suddenly the, the zombies reappear. There were zombies that wasn't there five minutes. Oh, yeah, they came out, they come out of the side oh, yeah, and you're yeah, like, oh, yeah, well, they turned up. Thanks for that. Yeah. But then we find out that several more zombie armies are coming. Fine. Whatever. Two big ones and they're all out of supplies. Alice says only the hive can save them now. Yay. We'll get in there. Claire and Razor decide they're coming. Then Christian also says he's coming. As he's now no long, longer the dick. And said he was wrong about Alice. It's a road trip. As two of the released, pr two of the released prisoners asked to come too. I laughed out loud. Yep. I was like, oh, well, we need some more people to exactly. die. You're, dead, you're, dead. you're both dying. <laughs> yep. This film will kill these two people in quick, hilarious yeah. fashion. As the group arrive at the crater, it's revealed that that, that is the front of the hive. The Because it's a crater, it reveals the front of the hive. And we see a nearby Dr. Isaacs watching them. So he's there as well. They get down and we get an old school computer zoom out of the group heading to the hive. And I was like, yep, yeah, cool. It feels like we're going back. And that's interesting to me. Yep. I'm, I'm excited. We see Wesker telling the Red Queen to activate the defences, but he wants to take control. 
something the Red Queen disputes, but eventually has to agree. He tells her to unleash the Cerberus, so zombie dog time. Yep. I'm like, okay. Yep, a little bit along the way, they hear a group are stopped by dogs. A lot of them, and there's a lot of dogs, there's yeah, a lot, of yeah, th- lot yeah. going on here. Yeah, exactly. So many that Alice tells the rest just to run and shoot. Someone is killed. Someone is actually killed here. It's too dark to say. I generally, I didn't work out till afterwards based off the numbers, but it's one of the prisoners who agreed to come. And it's like, well, what a surprise. Yep, there you go. Don't worry, the second's about to be killed <laughs> as well. They end up jumping off a cliff into water, followed by a group of dogs that seem to sink. Sink, yeah. I didn't know why. Why didn't they swim? I mean, dogs can swim, so... I yeah, like, they acted like dogs every other bit away, so didn't really get it. The rest watch from above before heading off to find another way to the group. Alice and her lot climb ashore on the other side, but it, this, this time it's Christian who's killed by a dog. No, it's Christian who's killed next. I don't remember which one Christian fucking uh, was. He's one of them. Uh, and again, from that, no, actually I do. Christian was the one you thought was a dick and was a nice guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, or like was was a dick at first. With him out of the picture, who's the informant? Who is it, obviously? Oh, 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 okay. Is it Claire? Of course is not. it Razor? Of course not. Is it Alice? Of course not. Is it the other prisoner? Of course not. No, it's fucking Doc, obviously. Claire's boyfriend. Of yes. More running and gunning in darkness. And I was like, my God, I, this feels really dark. Like, really dark compared to a lot of the other movies. And it doesn't get any lighter as it goes on, which is really weird. Because normally the film's a bit more proud. It's got a hype of laws. Yeah, well, it's weird because it, it, it just makes it harder to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The group arrive at a tunnel mouth and the dogs back away. And Alice reckons they're scared of what inside. I'm like, huh? They're dead. They don't want to be scared. What do you mean they're scared? They got motions now? <laughs> Resca tells the Red Queen to seal the hive. And I'm like, why have you not done this already? <laughs> At the moment, you knew Alice was coming. You know your problems with her. You've got to seal the hive. She can't get in. Um, even more so, forget Alice. Why is that massive door open anyway? You're just inviting everyone oh, in. Yeah. Like, if I'm a refugee, if I'm a person scavenging... And I'm like, oh, big door. A big door open there. I'll go in there. Yep. Alice is almost caught in the door. She has to fight for zombie, but you know, you know how you know how this shit goes by now. Yep. I was fucking, I almost waste my time writing it down. I'm like, Alice almost gets killed. Exactly. Inside the group discussed a lack of ammo. They don't have much. The Red Queen appears and tells Alice why she turned an umbrella. Apparently, a secret file was uploaded to her server that revealed that Isaacs had a meeting with big umbrella heads and pointed out that the world was in a lot of trouble. He's basically Thanos. He's Thanos. And he proposes ending the world, leaving all its infrastructure and resources intact for those who remain. And it's like, we already know this plan. You're just repeating what you've said already. Yeah, so but I, the, the plan, I don't, I, I don't get a plan. So the plan was to basically kill everyone off. And then what? A hundred of Emperor employees? Well, presumably was? around the world it'd be more than that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. presumably it was going to be more than that. But here's where the film... Uh, kind of falls apart with our whole clone gone mad thing. This Dr. Isaacs, the original Dr. Isaacs, makes reference to the Bible and Noah's Ark. Yeah. So he was religious then. Tell me how that tied into the Dr. Isaacs from Extinction, exactly. who was a scientist. <laughs> Science and religion are not good bedfellows. So he's a scientist, he's religious, but yet he was doing tests on patients. But this Dr. Isaacs wants to end the world. I know. That Dr. Isaacs wanted to try and find a cure. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't make any sense. doesn't make any fucking sense. So let's presume that one was a clone. Yeah. But a clone is not is a clone of you. Exactly. So it's it it's you tra- again. All your traits and everything. Because then you're like, okay, this makes sense why the Dr. Isaacs outside is a religious zealot. Mm. Because he's got a bit mad, but the religious thing was there. Mm. This is where all that falls apart. We're like, oh, so it's just different. I think that he's probably hoping but by the time we get to this point you you'll you'll forgotten what happened in that film. We don't we don't forget. Huh. The thing is he says all this to a table of employees and naturally they're gonna be like, Shh fucking loon, shoot him. Okay. Nope, they're like uh one of the one of the umbrella heads is like, Oh, how can we do this? And he says he's created a T virus. And I'm like But don't they already know that? Yeah. I thought it was wildly fucking available in uh, shops. Uh, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. It just doesn't marry up with the events of Extinction. And if you remember this as well, at the beginning of Extinction, Alice says that the T-virus didn't just have infected the world, dried up the lakes and the rivers. Exactly. Do you remember all of that yep. shit? Yep. When it goes brown and dusty? Not only that, the widespread destruction 
doesn't even suggest rebuilding would be possible. It's a dumb fucking plan. Which I'd be fine with. I would be fine with if he was lying. But he already told Alice this was his plan. Yep. So he's not lying. So, like, oh, this is real. This is actually what it was supposed yeah, to be. Exactly. The Red Queen tells Alice that the file created a conflict in her programming. And she's also programmed the value of all human life. Oh, well, who, who fucking put that in there? Who put that in there? She then repeats the same bollocks we've heard except it's now 37 minutes till all humanity dies. How could she possibly know it's 37 minutes till all humanity dies? Now I'm going to get to that at the end about how dumb this timer is. But I want to go back to something again about how this movie can fucking twist itself up. Mm -hmm. So, Red Queen cannot harm an umbrella employee. Yep. We've already established that. How dumb that was. Mm -hmm. But she also values all human life. So, didn't value the life of one? Or the other people are in that laser grid? Yep. Didn't value any of that? What about that you're all going to die down here? Yep. That sounds like you value human fucking life. When they had the cure for rain and thingy on the, on the tram. Oh no, I can't take that risk. They've got to, they've You've got got to, to they kill her. Actually, they've got to die. Yep. Yep. You've got to kill her? Or at the end of fucking retribution. When Wesker says, yo, the Red Queen wants to end all humanity's life. Well, now apparently I have to, I have to accept he was lying. Yeah. And actually, the Red Queen was trying to save, save them? Save more, yeah. Oh, mate. Man, oh, man. But 37 minutes left, right? She then gives Alice an earpiece so she can privately tell Alice that one of her group is an informant. She's God. I mean, I, I, I've, She's got, God. I've got one other thing. So Go on. If she wanted to save all humanity, why don't, in the first one, why don't she go, oh, by the way, Alice, the cure's here. Just, just fire it, and, and, and I said there wouldn't be any more, any more films. You could argue that uh, this god like character, surely she could shoot out of a tube or something. Okay, Isn't so that technically it. valuable on a human life? Exactly, do it, and yeah. not harming an umbrella employee. Mm -hmm. Right? Why has she tried to kill Alice so many times? Alice, Alice is technically an umbrella employee. Is that true? Yeah, true. You know? But she's been terminated. Once she's been terminated, she can no longer, she's no longer an employee. So yeah, she tells her there's an informant. Apparently, her all-knowing, though, doesn't allow her to know who the informant is. And like, oh, okay, so that's a bit of information she doesn't have. She has everything else, this godlike character, a, but not who it is. They're like bloody cyber dying for us. Fucking you, hell. You have every single record of every single employee. Of course, you, it's just stupid. And this is the problem when you create things that know and can do everything. Like, you, 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 you make it the Red Queen could do and knows everything. Okay. So when she can't, you're like, it's fucking dumb. Yep. It doesn't work. Zoom out to see the high before we zoom across the city to the armoured truck arriving at a city limit. It stops in front of Don Isaacs who can apparently move really fucking fast from there to there. Yep. He orders the group to go to the hive and kill one who argues with him. So you can kind of see he's becoming a bit more unhinged. Yep. But then I'm like, the dude was chanting about casting her out like religious zealot. Alice and her group then arrive at an air intake and it should be noted that they're keeping all the lights off. And I realise why here. So we can't compare the hive to the original. So we can't look and go, that doesn't look like what we remember and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah of course. Because it's so dark you literally can't see anything. And they begin to climb through a massive fan, which guess what? You see it coming a mile away. It starts up as the power comes back on. No one dies though, unfortunately. We then see Wesker watching them and he orders the fan be turned backwards. So it begins to suck the group in. This makes no sense because... Fucking hell, and this is, you could call this nitpicking if you want, but fuck these movies, I'll nitpick all I want. If it's so powerful, you can suck them in. When it was blowing the other way, forward, Why not blow my hair? their hair ain't even fucking yeah, moving. Exactly, yeah. Unbelievably stupid. It was no wind. Not, not, enough to like, not enough to suggest the power, like we'd have the power to suck you in. Yeah. Anyway, Abigail, I think, oh, she dies. It, like, it's supposed to be like a, a really emotional scene. Yep. Like, um, Big character. Alice is trying to help her and save her, and I'm like, what? Oh, oh, I mean, Did you, oh, you, you, the music. You, you met her a few minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, fuck is Abigail? Who the fuck's Abigail? Hello. Make it clear. If you want it to be like that, make it fucking clear. Yep. Power goes off directly afterwards too. And I was like, well, that's convenient. Exactly convenient. <laughs> Dr. Isaacs, Isaacs has killed everyone in the armoured vehicle and is now leading the horde directly to the hive. And he looks very chilled out inside. I do like the fact he's got his feet up and he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this is cool. 
Our group are now crawling through vents, and it's so fucking dark. Alice uses the earpiece she is given to bring up a map that she is somehow able to read. Because I looked at that and was like, the fuck? Yep. All right. Then all the lights inside come on. It looks like a laser grid room. And Alice seems to expect that, but nothing actually happens. Until she says, let's go, and the floor under the second prisoner opens up. He survived a bit longer than we we remembered. He drops under a hole, manages to hold on, but it closes and he falls to his death. Oh no, him, who didn't even have a fucking name. (laughs) He doesn't even get sad music. I was like, oh god, cheek. Alice is then knocked into a vent shaft and falls into a room filled with bodies. And uh, I thought this was one of the cooler looking scenes. It's like a feeding room and it looks really nasty. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously something is in is in there with her. Razor then falls inside and we see something with Predator Vision? Yeah. Watching them. That's basically what it is. Predator Vision. Predator you know what yeah. we mean by Predator Vision. Yeah. The monster then reveals itself and it's, it's like a mess of flesh and bone. Razor dies so fast here, I missed it the first time. Like, I got through this mm. and another thing like Alice says like to Claire or something is like, he didn't make it. I'm like, what? Rewind. Back, 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 back. <laughs> okay, he's just died there apparently. It's hard to see, CGI and dark. Alice shoots it, it dies. What do you expect at this fucking point in the movie? Yep. There are more though, more though, and of course Alice wins. She's then started by Doc, who has arrived, with no sign of Claire. 24 minutes left. Wesker orders the Red Queen to wake them. The Red Queen says they're not to be woken unless it's extreme emergency, but Wesker insists. Sh- should be right. Super exciting, right? Yeah. I, I, what, 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 do you, what were you thinking? Well, wake them. So I'm thinking, like, it's, it's got to be something big. Like, it's got to be a, a creature. Yeah. Um, like, a, maybe a hunter. I don't know. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, two down to the game, but maybe a tyrant. Or something, I don't know, liquors, uh, something decent, you know? I thought clones. Yeah, oh. Like clones of people like Rain mm-hmm. and Carlos again. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Good it good. would make sense, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's how you bring it back around. Yeah. But it's not. <laughs> Don Isaac off-roads his vehicle and causes it to crash, causing an issue as he's basically surrounded by zombies. Bit of a dumb move on his part. <laughs> he sort of gets out and like, oh, we're in trouble now. Claire wakes up in a glass box and I was like, oh, shit. She's fallen into the saw room. Yep. Don't it look like that with the green, like the hue and all that? No. <laughs> Last box. And I'm like, in a minute, it's going to go, hello, Claire. Would you like to play a game? Uh-huh. <laughs> Alice and Doc walk down a corridor and Alice remembers there was the laser corridor from the first film. And I like this. This is where we're out. She is. And she kind of scrubs it off, realizes what room it is. Yeah. And even finds a bag of guns, the group from the first film left behind in there. I liked it. Except for the whole, what, Wes could never bother to go pick that up? I know. <laughs> mm. Doc asks a lot of questions about what they need to do. And I'm like, come on, dude. We know you're the bad guy. Stop pretending. Get on with it. Alice plays around with the computer revealing that the room was an elevator all along. So the room with Kaplan, if you remember, yep. was using the computer trying to turn it off. That was an elevator all along. It's weird that Kaplan didn't like, find that on that computer. Considering he's a computer genius, too. Mm-hmm. It starts to descend into a giant room filled with thousands of cryo chambers, housing and umbrella high command. So basically, umbrella is the NHS where it's just like, there's far too many managers, not enough staff, mm-hmm. like that kind of thing. Yep, He's like, why is there so many high command and brilliant? <laughs> like, how'd you get to the high command? Who's in charge? I, I mean, I, 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 for the entire film, I always thought, who's in charge? Is it Dr. Isaacs? Is it well, Wesker? Is it these people? According you know? to these films, Dr. Isaacs got all, all sharing control of it. Exactly. Originally, it was, it was Marcus mm. and Isaacs, and then it became Isaacs. Yeah, mm. Fair enough. Alice sets about putting explosives around the place. So she's like, fuck these dudes, are going to blow them up. We then see Wesker talking to a recently revived Dr. Isaacs. It turns out this was the original one all along. Asleep until the cleansing was done. A lot calmer, a lot more chilled out. Kind of fits the uh, vibe that I'm used to for him. So again, this is what they meant by wake them. Yeah, I know. But I, I, the I, only I, wake one. I don't get what, what, why Why would you want to put yourself asleep? Because you imagine that, okay? Imagine if the world ended and you're, you're still going to be asleep. Well, yeah, but isn't the point in cryo, like, you don't age then, isn't it, right? Yeah, of course, you obviously won't age, but then imagine, like, Wesker got killed. And the, the, the clones got killed. You're, 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 you're now stuck forever, frozen. You could be like Billy Fry from Billy Futurama. At least you'll never know, true. right? Well, true. I there mean, is that aspect yeah, that you'll true. never know. Um, what annoys me about this is the wording they used before. Wake them. Yeah, wake them. 
Well, just say wake him. Wake him, yeah. It would have been the same impact because we wouldn't know who him was. It was like, ooh, that could be kind of cool. What is it? But yeah. But he also seems to know the Red Queen has betrayed them. I'm like, say what? How would he know? Why would he even have an inkling about that? He's gold. The clone, Dr. Isaacs, meanwhile, has got out and has managed ma is managing to make the zombie horde follow him into the hive. I was like, well, that's really good of the zombies to allow him a path <laughs> off the top of the truck. They were like, all right, we like the chase. We don't want to get you. We're, we're, we like the chase. So we're going to let you go and then we'll follow you. We'll do the whole, rah, we're zombies <laughs> kind of thing, you know? That's what it seems like. It's like, how the fuck yeah, did he even get out of there? Don't worry about that. Who cares? Claire someone manages to escape a present. Sure. Like, why put people in this would never sh fucking actually give us anything from it? Nope. But we see Wesker is nearby. Back with Alice and Doc, who finally arrive at the main command place where Dr. Isaacs is waiting. Nine minutes left to save the world. He reveals that he has the antivirus and there is one vial only. Of course there is! Why else would there be one? Vial? One. He threatens to destroy it here, so Alice puts her weapons down. Because he's like, if I drop it in here, it ain't going anywhere. It's like, oh, yeah, fair enough. Doc then reveals he was a baddie. And oh my god, Doc. Shocking. You hurt me, bro. Never expected that. I really, really cared. Claire then arrives and is pissed, but Wesker follows behind her and puts a gun to her head. I like that Wesker waited till she got there to do that, even though, you know, he'd seen it before. Yep. So everyone's here, though, except Chris, Leon, Ada, Kmart, Jill, and all the other characters that have been completely forgotten about throughout this. Just want to throw them all in there. These are all important characters in the films that aren't here. They're waiting for the next, the, the next movie. Alice has three quick visions of how she could kill Don Isaac. So things get weird here. We, we do something we've never seen in this film before. And it's baffling. She has visions that are like computer simulations. And each one, she plays out in her head in quick time of how she could kill him. One using an ice pick, another using a fountain pen, and another using a decanter. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yep. Never done this before. First time done it, yep. Ever. But Dr. Isaacs knows exactly what she's planning, though, as we see through his vi vision that each one she tries to do, <coughs> he has an answer for. So, and he says it's some sort of defensive software installed in him. And I'm like, what the fuck is this movie doing now? So basically, you're not human. In, so. Well, at the end of the movie, what are you doing? I know, I just... Where has this come from? Why is Alice able to do this? You can make, oh, she's, it's just her thinking quickly. It doesn't come across like that. Comes across like a simulation. Okay, but so she's thinking quickly. What's he doing? How can he even know what she's thinking? Well, apparently he's got defensive software installed. But then he, he, he's supposed to be human. You're asking way too many questions. Oh, no. <laughs> he reveals that he's the original Dr. Isaacs. But then he reveals that Alice is not the original. Now, I am a big fan of this twist. Yeah. Because it's one that makes sense. <laughs> and aunt, aunt asks the question all, all the way through. How many times was she actually killed yeah. throughout the movies? And it was just another clone. We know there are plenty of them about. And I'm okay with it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Uh, we we then see an old woman in a wheelchair come in. And Donna uh, Isaacs reveals that this is Alicia Marcus. The original Alice design. Basically, Mila Jovovich in makeup. Yeah. What do you think of makeup? It's all right. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of those where, you know, I've got so many things to complain about in this movie. This doesn't have to be yeah, one of them. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. It turns out that she doesn't get along with Dada Isaacs. And you got to ask the question, wait, why is she still alive? Why is she still alive? Why wouldn't you have killed her? Oh, I've got no idea. Maybe it's quite more, more of her. Maybe more DNA, I don't know. He could have fucking killed her. And if the rest of the employees are like, oh, she's still got a, um, a percentage share of it, what are we going to do? Where is she? It'd be like, oh, yeah, she died in the uh, cleansing. Yeah. And I've got her share. Look, she signed it. Yeah. <laughs> Forge her signature. <laughs> Stupid movie. He continues to point out that she is a clone and can't remember anything before the mansion. The Red Queen then appears and confirms it all. The Red Queen, Alice, and Alicia Marcus are all the same person. I do like the term the Trinity of Bitches. <laughs> I did like that. I was like, yeah, you get them, England. And uh, the only problem is, is like, what is Wesker's role in all of this? Like, what is Wesker's role? He has been relegated to a fucking patsy in this movie. Like a patsy following orders. I mean, it, it started off with him when he was following orders. Then he became the leader, the boss, as far as mm -hmm. I think, And now he's gone back to being... He worse than he was. Exactly. Yeah. It turns out Alicia uploaded the files to the Red Queen. Dada Isaac keeps talking about waiting for her to die. And I'm just like, again, kill her. Or if you can't do it, or your fucking lackey Wesker to do oh, it. Sure. They start to talk about percentages. She owns 50% and Isaac owns 50%. 
but Wesker is an employee. Now, well, before I get to what happens next, wait, what? Well, I thought uh, Marcus's, James Marcus's share went to Isaac's. Yeah. So how did Lisa get it? Exactly. So let's presume uh, it was given to him until she reached the age of 18 and then she could take con- controlling his, of his stake. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 say that, it then. That Fucking sense. say it, right? Mm-hmm. That's it, say it. But anyway, Wesker's an employee, so she now chooses to fire him, meaning the Red Queen can kill him. So she drops a lift on him, crossing his body. And he's like, what, why wait for this? I, the thing is, it's cool. It's cool because it's always funny to a certain degree. Yeah. Where you're fired, and it's like, oh, he's no longer an employee. Yeah. But, you know, we, you know how many problems we already have with this angle, right? What film did that? There was a film that, that It I did. I can't, remember, I can't think of it. Oh, it did, you're right. Robocop? Yeah, Robocop. Yeah, yeah, yeah the end of <laughs> Robocop. Yeah, there you go. Your dick, you're fired. <laughs> and he's like, thank you. <laughs> Alice uses the distraction to attack Doc, who finds his gun empty. And we see that Alice suspected him earlier when she gave him the gun. She actually emptied the clip. I'd be like, I'd be like, that's clever. Except, why? Why would she suspect him? And even if you did, well, why, why, why just kill him? Just kill him then. Just kill him. And until Clay died. Exactly. Because now you've got, now you've got to deal with him and everyone else in the room. Absolutely. Done that Isaac runs, Claire shoots and misses, Claire then kills Doc. There, yeah, done. Alice gives Wesker the detonator and tells him that as long as he keeps the trigger depressed, Umbrella lives. He says he should have killed her in Washington. I'm like, why didn't you then? Why didn't you? There was no reason to keep Alice alive. In fact, throughout the entire series, it now gets to the point where there was never any good reason to keep her alive. Nope. Originally, it was all about her blood being the one that bonded with the T virus might be a reason for the cure, but this movie's established that was never yep. the fucking goal. Yep, never the case. Never. Elisa reminds Alice about what it means to release the antivirus. Once again, once again, Claire tries to talk her out of it, and I'm like, seriously, shut the fuck up, Claire. We're all done. Yep. Also, like, there's less than five minutes left, and they're jaw jacking about what they should do. <laughs> Just fucking do it. We then see Alicia put a contact lens in that lets her view her childhood. Wesker asks for help, but she tells him he's dying and he should just get on with it. I do like Mila's bitter... The older version. Older version? Yeah, I yeah. like that. It's like, oh, Wesker, you're dying. Just get on with it. Yeah. Like It's like, yeah, like it's done, Wesker. You know? You're, you're out. Mm. Finally. Thunder Isaac uses his power to override the Red Queen and then shut her down. I'm like, okay. You could do that all along. Exactly. <laughs> Before she goes offline... That, the only reason this exists is because before she goes offline, what does she want to do? What do they want to get out there one last time? You're going to die down here. Oh, they changed the word, obviously, because she can't say you're all. Yeah. Because that makes no sense. But you're going to die down here by governor. Why? <laughs> like a dick man dyking it all over the place. <laughs> Hello, Mary Poppins. Mr. Isaac's going to die down here, are you? <laughs> I can't help it. It's just the way they do oh, that. It no, just fucking makes me laugh. Alice and Claire right behind him. He's able to dodge their bullets because he's a fucking god. Apparently this defensive stuff made him godlike. And we get to fight. They arrive at the top. He kicks Alice into an old, the old laser corridor and activates it, locking the door at the far end. She dodges like Leon, Resident Evil 4 style, and they continue to fight. Um, and I was a bit like, why didn't he do the cage laser grid there? Yeah. Like, that one's missing, obviously. He continues to kick her ass as Claire is completely absent. Yep. <coughs> doing the whole context thing, con- conquest thing. I'm just <laughs> standing at the side going, well, I'll Watching come in a minute, yeah. <laughs> Alice starts to laugh and gets back up the fight. The laser grid starts up again and both have to dodge while fighting. Donna Isaac continues to kick her ass and even cuts her fingers off with one laser. Oh, yeah. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Why not her head? Why are you toying with her? Why is he toying with her? He's got to, do the bad, he's got to tell her a plan. Well, he's only told her a plan, but he's got to tell her a plan and he's got to tell, tell his birds before he kills her. Oh, stupid, isn't it? We then see that Alice put a grenade in his pocket when he toyed with her. That's what you get. Where did you get the grenade from? I think he had it, didn't he? Hmm. Probably. Come on. David, we're this close to the end. Oh, no. <laughs> she shows him the pin and he realises it's too late and blows up 
just a little bit, but is still alive. Like, really alive. He just kind of drops to his knee. And I was like, the grenade... Yeah, you, you, like, come on, man. You've, you've lost... You've lost your hip. Yeah. You've lost a side of you. But he just kind of goes, ugh, ugh, ugh. You'll be uh, everywhere, all on the floor. Get you. Also, this doesn't damage the antivirus that oh, was yeah, in his oh, pocket. Yeah, true. Yeah, true which Alice just is able to take. They have some final bants back and forth, these two. Here's the thing. If he had been in from the start of the very franchise and been a, like a back and forth villain with clones, her clones and clones, I think it would have been quite fun. It would have quite yeah. felt very finale. Yeah. Yeah. But problem is he wasn't. No, exactly. He probably joined number three. Yeah. And then never really popped up again until okay. now, where he's now suddenly the big bad. And it's like, ah, I'm not buying it. Mm. Problem is, is I do like Ian Glenn. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so final bands and about him creating her and making a mistake. Alice then finds Claire coming around and she tells Alice to go. Alice heads up as we see Dr. Isaac's rebooting. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Talks rebooting. But that's what I'm saying. What is this? What is this? I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll buy into here's some defensive thing that means the grenade didn't blow half his body off. Or at least send him flying into a wall. Yeah. I, I, I thought the ones were in, in, the, in the chamber. I thought, I thought they were the human versions. Well, apparently he got... De- how many... He got defensive software uh, installed and we're supposed to just go, okay then. Yeah. Hmm. We're almost here. Alice arrives on the surface. No dogs are there. No waiting zombies. I don't know where the fuck they all went. She sees she has 58 seconds left and then wastes an additional... Fifth, I, I know, I did the whole counting thing. An additional 15 seconds staring at the vial. She drops it into the hands of Dr. Isaacs. I did laugh at that bit. I was like, ha, you twat. You waited those 15 seconds if you'd just done it. Unfortunately, for the actual Dr. Isaacs, the clone Dr. Isaacs arrives with his zombie army. And he's not very pleased to find out he is a clone. He's outraged, in fact, and stabs the real Dr. Isaacs to death before getting munched on by zombies. So I was like, so a grenade there means you just reboot yourself. But a couple of jabby jabs, that's it, game over. Yep, dead. Okay. We well, you know I thought it was? I started to think like a fucking video game. Trade by his plan. Lives. Oh, oh, yeah. I started to think of it like that. Yep. Like he was, after rebooting with a grenade, he was on his last life. Yeah, last life, yeah. I mean, that's why I started to think, why not? Betrayed by his clone. But thing is, like, Clone on Isaacs is good to watch because he's 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 a mess, yeah. and it's it's the juxtaposition of the two of them talking, and the real Don Isaacs is so dismissive of his clone, yeah. your creation is like, yeah, it's a problem, yeah, you definitely, you know, yeah. and like he never and joke is it for all his cleverness, he never stopped to think of what that will do to a person exactly. who believed he was real to not just be told he's not real, but be faced by your creator. And being like, I'm, I'm, I'm the top one. You're the worst. Yeah, mocking yeah. Things, yeah, yeah. But we're almost there. We then see Wesker die and drop the detonator, causing the facility to explode. At least Alicia dies in the explosion, having basically accepted her fate. Alison picks up the vial and smashes it on the ground. The approaching zombies all begin to fall down, but she doesn't. Huh. So how long was it actually? We're going to do this. Bear in mind, there are only 58 seconds left. And the films have been pretty good at getting the times right. They have, haven't they? they yeah, they've been We were reading it, so... They've been pretty, they've been pretty spot on. The film fucks it up, sadly. 
From when we see 58 seconds left, it takes 1 minute and 57 seconds. So almost double the fucking time. Shame. They were really good at that. And they dropped the ball here. Yeah. But yeah, I, I timed it again. I always do. Alice then finally falls over. Is she dead? Let's be honest. We're all expecting it. We're expecting a workaround, right? Yep. Of course we are. And she wakes up to see Claire telling her she did it. I'm like, oh, great. She wonders why she's still alive. Again, I heard Mila go, why am I still here? Why am I still in this franchise? <laughs> they then activate the Red Queen using the device she was given. And I was like, wait, what? Didn't the facility blow up? Surely that's the Red Queen wiped gone, and gone. Gone, completely gone. Apparently not. And the Red Queen reports that she was able to stop the attacks of the other humans that were going to be killed. I'm like, how? Wait, what? What do you mean you stopped them? Now, if they get attacked by zombies in another continent, exactly. that ain't going to help them. So what, you ordered the umbrellas to stop attacking them? You could have done that. In... <laughs> what? The Red Queen then reveals that the antivirus killed the T-virus cells in her only. And again, I'm like, what? Isn't that what a lot of the zombies were? Well, exactly. Infected. Wouldn't that have been the same thing? Exactly. She's now completely human. Why did they lie? Because they needed to know that she would give up her life to save the world. And I I was like, oh my God, thank God it's over. Because that might be the dumbest thing they've ever heard. We didn't tell you the truth because we needed to know that you'd kill yourself for it. So we didn't tell you that it wouldn't kill you. Yeah. What the fuck? It's a test. It's all a test. What? Why is that a test? It's a test. It's because it's, uh, it's because it's Alice hasn't game. proved all throughout the film no since idea. day one to be fighting for everything. And if they said to her, so when you drop it, it'll kill the T-virus and you'll be human. And she'll be like, oh, sweet. Oh, you still do it. Maybe she'll still hope she'll have her powers. Oh, no, 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 Fucking no, 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 bollocks. I don't know. <laughs> Alice then gets pissy about being a clone. And the Red Queen then gives Alice an implant that will give her the childhood she never had. The childhood of Alicia. She'll become the true Alicia. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah. If she's got the childhood memories, she just is. We are, we are a collection of fucking memories and shit that firing through our brains. If you've got that, you're not just a clone. You're a clone of your parents. Right? But we're not done. Sorry. Sometime later, Alice is on her motorbike driving into Manhattan. She pointed at the antivirus is being spread by the wind, but it could take years. And I was like, no, don't you, don't you fucking dare. I do not want Resident Evil in Australia or UK version of it. Although, you know, at least the accents could be do some form of the accents. Yeah, exactly. going, By governor, it's Alice. She's there to save us, mate. <laughs> she then says her work wasn't done. And I was like, no, what are you doing, Phil? You said the final chapter. Don't be saying your work isn't done. And we see her being pursued by flying beasties in a Manhattan. The final line of the films and the series is, my name is Alice. And I was like, what a pants finale. Oh, what terrible. a pants finale that is. Because you build it up nicely. And I think, and then you're like, you wouldn't do it all by being like, oh, we've got to have a happy ending. Yep. Alice gets a happy ending. But then you don't commit to that. Because she then goes off alone to finish what she started. But what's she doing? She's got a fucking jar where she collected the antivirus out of the air she's going to go wave it around <laughs> or like you said a fart in the wind <laughs> fuck what's she going to do she's got no point going around killing the monsters because just wait it out she's start helping people rebuild wait it out she's got I'll go and help the people until it gets there where's Claire oh who gives a fuck about Claire who gives a fuck about any of them I've got a question actually what's her second name is it uh, uh, Alice what? Marcus, technically. No, well, yeah. I suppose it's Marcus, isn't it? Alicia Marcus. Yeah, I suppose. So she's Alice Marcus. Yeah, I suppose. What do you mean, suppose? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on, well, what last name do you want to give her? Alice, Alice, you go. Alice Anderson. <laughs> there you go. Um, that's the Resident Evil, the final chapter. You know, it causes the same level of amusing, amusing outrage that they all have done. We yeah. do have a lot of fun watching these movies. It's just... It's, it's incredible to watch them in this fashion where we're doing the notes and we're talking through it step by step mm. to see how much they fall apart, how much they fuck it up, how much they tie themselves in knots to try and correct what the previous film did. Yep. This film does it exact. The last couple have been hilariously bad for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And this is up there. And the thing is, had this been... Oh, I don't want to say had this been... A sequel to the original movie, the first, and that's it. And oh, but they had to do two because they introduced characters that came from later uh, films. Exactly, so. It doesn't work. It don't work. But there's a lot of elements that do. The Alicia Marcus stuff, that all of that works yeah, for yeah. me. But it's because it's coming in a sequel mm -hmm. 
of another sequel of another sequel. I'm just like, oh, I can't deal with this. I can't accept that. I can't have fun with it. Is it the worst, do you think? Uh, no, no, bloody, bloody uh, Apocalypse is always worse than Hellman. It's always like, that is the worst one. Yeah. I mean, what, what, it, it's just the, what they did to Nemesis that day destroys the entire film. Well, look what they did to Wesker in this. Mm, I suppose, yeah. Well, look what they did to Wesker over most of the fucking franchise. Well, yeah. What they did to her boy. Um, right, let's try and pick some positives out for you. Moments that are good. Some of the action scenes are done well. Uh, the CGI and all of that is impressive. I think some of the earlier portions of the film, it's almost like they got bored and were like, let's just do the rest of the film in dark yeah. so we haven't got to fucking worry too much about making it look too good. Or someone, you know, got something got changed halfway through. Mm. budget Budgetary reasons or whatever. But there were some good action scenes earlier on. The Ian Glenn stuff, the Donna Isaacs angle is interesting. Yeah. And he does a good villain, like the original version of him, mm -hmm. does hold that power and poise I buy into it. Yeah. I buy into it. The problem is, is that we by that point we've had so much Dr. Mark, um, I don't know, Isaacs. Yeah, yeah. And what you've also done is introduced this religious zealot angle that ends up being irrelevant mm. to the end of the film. It's irrelevant. I mean, I mean so for, if, if, for me, if, if I could pick one sort of, sort of scene that I like, I, I, I like, I like every scene that involves the tank. And the zombies are coming behind it because okay. I, I think it's, it's, it's really clever. And you know, when you have someone being dragged behind, I know it's gruesome, but it's really clever. I, yep. I, 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 I like that because you know, it's, it's sort of like the old fashioned days we used to be pulled someone along with a horse, you know, mm. the torture, you know, it, but it's, it's really cool. It does tie into that sort of religious yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I think that's a fair point. It's. The thing is, this is a movie that feels far longer than it actually is. It's still a long movie. But when you break it down, it's, again, not quite as bad as... Um, was it Retribution or Retribution? Which was the one that was set in the video game levels? You know, with Ada and all that. Which one is that? Apocalypse oh. Extinction. Fuck, if we're forgetting the fucking names of the Afterlife. movies. Afterlife. It's Afterlife, it's isn't it? Yeah, Afterlife, yeah. Or is it Retribution? No, it's Retribution. Of course it's Retribution. That's before, before, isn't it? Yeah. Five. Retribution five. is five, isn't it? With Leon. And oh, yeah. So Afterlife's After. Extinction, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Afterlife, Retribution. Yeah. yeah, so Retribution. The one with the video games and stuff like that. Mm. This has a similar feel. Where it's like, we're going here. Big thing. Here's the next big thing. Yeah. And that's what it is. What it doesn't have, thankfully, is a ton of jammed in stuff. But the ones it does have are pointless. We talked all the way through it about the characters being irrelevant. Mm. What fucking point? What was the point of Claire? What's the point of Claire? Patrick. You know who that should have been? Jill. Jill, yeah. Because, according to Retribution, her and Jill had more of a thing going on. Mm. That's what that film tries to do, you know? But why not find a way to bring them all into this? What have made, what, what, what made more sense, though? Wouldn't final, it just been more final, enjoyable, the right? Final, the final stand, where's, where's the crew? I love the fact that Chris appeared in one movie know, and yeah. then promptly disappeared and was never seen again. Leon, one movie, yep. promptly disappeared never seen again you know and these are like important characters they get it it didn't work in the story and it's a Mila Jovovich it's an Alice story yep. but you could have written this better you could have written this better I, just, I think the way they neutered fucking Wesker in this movie is hilarious I mean uh, I, 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 I wish I, mean, I know it's hopeful to go, to go back to the start that instead of being an, an Alice story why didn't you just get bloody her to play someone like Jill because mm -hmm. because if she could have been Jill or Claire herself play, played one of those characters and then maybe done a story based on that. If you if you go back to the first time you saw Resident Evil, mm. the first movie, with Mila Jovovich, the proper first movie, and picture where this franchise ended up, you would never have... Oh, if I'd no. gone back to you and said to you, yeah, this movie here, this, and, and then made you watch the video we've just recorded, yep. and, it, and it was like, that's what it's going to end up being like. You'd have been like, what the fuck? After seeing the first one, all of many years ago, uh, I, I was quite. I was thinking like, this, this is pretty decent. Yeah, it, like, it'll it, do. It, yeah. It's not what I wanted, no, no. but it will do. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Exactly the fucking same. You would never have foreseen the franchise going the way it has done, and I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm not unhappy to see the back of it. Nope. I'm unhappy to be like, okay, well, what comes next? In this Resident Evil world, you know, what are they going to do? Not this world, but what are they going to do in the universe out there as with this new film and this new TV show and stuff like that, you know? And I don't know, I said, uh, uh, buddy Paul Anderson and Avia uh, Jorish have been made shit loads of money out of it. And imagine they've done a right out of it. They have a lot of money. And I don't begrudge them that. No, no, um, I think I think when Anderson came back in after Apocalypse, he because he obviously didn't direct, mm -hmm. he tried to write a lot of the ship with Extinction. However, um, what he did as the franchise went on, yeah. 
Yeah. And trying to rewrite his own stories to fit whatever he wanted to do in this movie. Because that's what it is. Much, it's yeah. simply unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, the star, Mila, she's done wonderfully throughout it. At times, I've got the impression she just didn't want to be there anymore. Yeah. But it is what it is. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me. It, that was the case of why this was the final one. Maybe because she said, look, 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 honey, we've done enough. I think probably both of them between each other, yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I, I doubt when he, when he came with this idea, it was, it was honey, though. Oh yeah, you, right. you can't. <laughs> it's done enough. You know, I really want to go make a Monster Hunter movie. Uh, for, for, for fuck's sake, I, 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 I was working with fucking Bruce Willis before, uh, and, and, and now we're not in this shit. We should have done lots of good movies. Oh, in oh it, yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, of um, yeah, that's it. We're out. We're done. We're no more talking about these Resident Evil movies. It's Resident Evil: The Final Chapter. You got any thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram. Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there, that's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL, as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts, and of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?